What's going on guys? I'll just do another quick mask review. Um, I know there's a million uh, reviews on YouTube already of this mask and I didn't originally plan on picking up any of the uh, Trick or Treat Studios uh, Halloween 3 masks but I do love the Don Post Skull uh, so and Justin Mabry really did a good job of uh, you know capturing that in his sculpt so I figured I'd pick one up uh, I didn't do an unboxing because I got it off Amazon it was just in a bag in like a small box like flat as a pancake which isn't a problem because these pop back into shape really well but uh yeah so here it is Yeah, I was actually impressed when I got it. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's really a good thickness. It uh, holds its shape well. I mean, it's really a, just a you know, solid mask. Um, I noticed a lot of people, uh, their complaints were uh, about this mask was the in the movie, Halloween 3, the, uh, the septum bone here. Uh, well, I guess it's cartilage, not a bone, but the septum here. Uh, and the movie is white like this. A lot of people get these and it's all black in the nose, which could be an easy fix if you wanted to, but... So that's why I thought mine was going to come, but I lucked out and they actually did paint, paint the septum white, just like in the movie, so... I was really happy about that, actually. Has the uh, silver shamrock thing here. It's like a, it's pretty thick. It's a hard plastic. It's really glued on there well. Yeah, so it looks just like the old uh, Don Post skulls. I actually have a 70s Don Post skull somewhere in my basement. When I move here, I'm going to try to find it. Hopefully it's still there somewhere. I've looked for it and looked, but couldn't didn't turn up anywhere, so hopefully it's still there somewhere. But anyway, yeah, this mask is really well made. Really impressed by Trick or Treat Studios on this. For a mass-produced mask, it's really cool. Good paint up. Like I said, I'm glad the, that's painted there. They have this mask on Amazon right now, actually, for $27. It's not a bad deal. That's what I got this for. $27. Bucks. And then I also got a Blu-ray of Creep Show, just because uh, if you get order over thirty dollars worth of something, you get free shipping. So, got me Creep Show and then have a copy of that. So I got a Blu-ray of that and this mask. We got twenty-seven bucks. It's not not a bad deal at all. It's a little tight when I wear it. I really don't plan on wearing it. I got it just you know for my collection, but I'll throw it on real quick. kind of tight around the eyes. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but it kind of pushes tight right here, but still fits okay. So yeah, it fits okay. It's a little tight around the eyes, but no big deal. I do like Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It's one of those movies that uh, kind of grows on you. You're always kind of like, oh, there's no Michael Myers, but, you know, I have uh, a grown appreciation for it. So yeah, I don't think I'll get the pumpkin or the witch, but uh, definitely glad I got this. Definitely glad I got this. Really a cool piece to have. It says really thick. This is without any stuffing in it, and you can see it. I mean, it just you know, I mean, it holds it holds its shape. 
I said it was folded flat when I got it, but it pulled out of the box and it just popped right back into shape. So yeah, glad I picked it up. The Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 3 Skull Mask. So right now on Amazon they're $27. I don't know how long that'll be on there, how long they'll have that price for, but definitely the cheapest around I've seen it. Yeah, and that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Later.